Ta-ta-ta. <laughs> the upcoming film and Illumination supervillain franchise Despicable Me 4 is slated for release in theaters in 2024 and may be one of Gru's most outrageous adventures to date. While there are many clues in the Despicable Me 4 trailer about the newest chapter in Gru's antics, there are still some unanswered questions. Three girls, one wife. Something is missing. This guy. <laughs> the timeline for the Despicable Me franchise remained confusing, as Margot, Edith, and Agnes hadn't changed much since the first film was released. Therefore, one could assume that the three Despicable Me movies took place over a much shorter period of time. Even though a lot has happened in Gru's life and more than 10 years have passed in real life, Gru may have only met Lucy Wilde in Despicable Me 2 a few months after adopting the girls, and he may still have met his brother Drew in Despicable Me 3 not long after. However, this shortened timeline theory is disregarded by Gru and Lucy having a baby in Despicable Me 4, who is at least six months old. Gru, I need a word with you. Your family's lives are at stake. What? It seems fitting that Brat, the third antagonist, would have a very potent weapon in his strange world of absurdity and mayhem. Huge bubblegum bubbles. With pitchforks, axes, and other power tools, the minions attack the bubbles, but they just won't go away. But Lucy, with just her hands, can destroy them. Either Brat's weapon has run out of power, or she really does have hands of steel. The minions are extremely feeble, or most likely they forgot to maintain the bubble strength consistency. With a new villain on the horizon, is there any possibility that Lucy might not just be an ordinary AVL agent? It has a vendor, oh. I love this place! Gru Jr., the child of Gru and Lucy, is one of the many intriguing new aspects of the franchise that are showcased in the first trailer for Despicable Me 4. Although this new character is adorable, Will Ferrell's Maxime Lamel is a far more menacing addition to the cast of Despicable Me 4. In the teaser, Gru is discovered by AVL director Silas Ramsbottom, who informs him that a supervillain by the name of Maxime Lamel has broken free from prison and is out to find Gru. Lamel even claims to be coming for his retribution, which begs several important questions. The trailer for Despicable Me 4 doesn't spend much time focusing on Will Ferrell's Maxime Lamel, but it does give us some important information about the character and raises the possibility that he will play a bigger part in the plot. Lamel is obviously extremely wealthy, as evidenced by his regal and flamboyant costume, possibly from the numerous crimes he has committed. Lamel also appears to have a light motive of insect themed villainry, even though his costume doesn't reflect it, as seen by his destructive mech that is shaped like a bug and his destruction of a pest control vehicle. In addition, the teaser discloses a previous relationship between Maxime Lamal and Gru that hasn't been previously explored in the Despicable Me films. We want answers, because we don't know what Gru did to provoke Lamal to seek revenge. The most important part of a heist is being aware of potential danger. The fourth installment of Despicable Me introduces us to Poppy, the new girl. All that is known about her is when Gru and his family relocate to the AVL safe house, she will become his new neighbor. Numerous fans, however, speculate that Soppy is actually her real name and that Gru, Dr. Nefario, and their minions summoned her to their lab. Gru, who is keeping an eye on her via security cameras, gets Soppy as soon as she walks in inside the house. Once inside the elevator, she was led downstairs to the secret lab. To her amazement, Gru, Dr. Nefario, and their minions welcomed her with open arms when she arrived. Gru informs her that they are only going to run some tests on her after they have finished introducing themselves. Gru instructs her to put on a special suit with some apparel in order to improve the process and do better. Before proceeding, Soppy is given a pink vest with a P symbol on it by Gru along with a belt and white finger gloves, a black skirt, blue shorts, 
pink sneakers, over white socks, and black fingerless gloves. All of this is just to give her the opportunity to become possessed by a minion soul from the third installment. Rumors also state that after taking on the form of a minion, she's capable of flawless dance moves, acrobatic flips, rolling into a ball, and rolling like a pinball and retreating inside her own body. She's also said to be able to change into different shapes and move like a cube, a pyramid, and a ball. Rumor has it that similar to all of Gru's minions, she's able to breathe in space. So while we are aware that this could be just a rumor, we're still curious to learn more about her. The lengthy clip introduced two new characters, Gru Jr. and Joey King's supervillain in training, Poppy, in addition to the franchise's well-known Gru and Minions. The five travelers are flying through the sky in a hot air balloon on their way to their next heist when they come upon their target, which is a castle. The simple plan is for the Minions to act as babysitters and getaway drivers while Gru and Poppy shimmy down the rope and take care of business. Things get a little messy, though, when Gru realizes he brought his diaper bag by mistake instead of his heist bag. Gru, who is always willing to improvise, manages to get the burglary team into the castle without being noticed, at least for a short while. They don't reveal the nature of the heist in the trailer, but they do reveal some big clues as to where it is. We can infer that it's located in a massive mansion owned by an elderly woman, who is presumably a principal because the letters LPB are painted on the walls of the mansion, and the principal's name is written on the office desk. We can't wait to find out what it is that she possesses that Gru desires so much. What? With the confirmation of the return of Gru, Lucy, Margot, Edith, Agnes, and the devoted minions, the trailer for Despicable Me 4 offered the first real look at the film and its plot. While there are new villains introduced as well, Drew's absence is even more noticeable. Despicable Me 3 introduced Gru's twin brother, Drew, giving the franchise a surprise turn to its story. As they ultimately battled to stop Despicable Me villain, Baltheiser Brat, the film centered on the relationship between the two brothers, highlighting their differences and similarities. On the other hand, Despicable Me 3 concluded on a suspenseful note when Drew took over Gru's ship and abducted the majority of the minions. It was previously believed that the hint that Gru and Lucy would pursue him was meant to set up the plot of Despicable Me 4, but that seems to have changed. The trailer for Despicable Me 4 confirms one important plot point. The film will take place after a sizable time jump from the events of Despicable Me 3. This is because it was revealed in between the the sequels that Gru and Lucy had a son. This implies that Despicable Me 4 takes place nine months after the events of the previous installment at the absolute least. This time jump confirmation indicates that the Despicable Me film timeline has progressed significantly past the first hint at the conclusion of Despicable Me 3. The question now becomes how Despicable Me 4 will handle Drew's absence, which is looking more and more likely. Illumination has the option to ignore the cliffhanger ending entirely and skip over any mention of Drew or his location during the movie. It would be very simple, though, for the movie to also include a brief scene detailing what transpired with Drew and the minions following Despicable Me 3. <laughs> The Minion's love of bananas and their nearly incomprehensible language are two of their most defining traits. It would be simple to assume that the Minions, who are all voiced by the same actors, are just kids based on their characteristically innocent behavior. The first movie in the spin-off series about them, Minions, gives us a glimpse into their personalities and ages of the Minions. Because the Minions interacted with the T-Rex in the movie, it's demonstrated that they existed during this period. That means that the Minions have existed for a minimum of 60 million years. As a matter of fact, the Minions have existed roughly the same amount of time as life on Earth, 3.8 billion years ago. It also makes sense to believe that the Minions will always be around because they have been around since the beginning of time. In addition, the Minions appear to be immortal and exhibit a high level of invulnerability, surviving potentially fatal situations and threats. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Eh, eh, look up. Yeah. Ow, <laughs> 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 <laughs>